over the coming weeks, B2B Energy and myself are going to be putting together the training program Insights into the 11 week energy program. Now the 11 week energy program provides a concise approach to developing an energy management system for an organization to manage their third largest expense. And what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going over the 11 weeks to give organizations ideas of how they could be applying an energy management system. It's also gonna support energy experts to deliver this as well regarding providing this service to an organization and it's going to provide ideas of how the training works now the training is 11 week program which goes through each point in turn now, there's seven points to the energy management system but there's other points around the training that build on the likes of like and trust with an organization an overview of the energy management system to understand the scope and the barriers and we also go into obviously the exam, which is a very important part of the process because we need to understand what we've understood from the training and what we've learned and how we can apply that to an organization. That brings us nicely to the four principles of energy management. Now, these four principles have been born from 42 years experience of working in this industry. And I'll be very honest with you, it hasn't been in my, until my later years of my career that I've really understand that I needed to put these four principles into place to make it very clear of what I'm trying to deliver personally or as an organization with energy management. Now these four principles come from, as I say, many years of experience. And when I look back at my experience, many times I've been asked, so what do I do for a living? How do I deliver energy management? I used to really find it hard to actually articulate what I was trying to achieve with an organization. Yes, I wanted to save them energy. I wanted them to save them consumption, and which leads to money, but it, I really found it hard to actually demonstrate to them how I was gonna deliver that. And that brought me on to really drilling down into my own time and mind regarding what do I do. And I came up with these four principles and broke it down. And I broke it down very simply to re review, realign, reduce and report. Now you might hear them also mentioned as the four R's of energy management. So what do they actually mean? Well, if we look at the four R's to start with, R1, which is review. Like all management processes, you cannot start an energy management process or a process for management until you start to review what you have today. And that will mean starting to review your data, your energy consumption, your people, how the people use the energy management systems, how they're using the buildings, how the building's been set up. So we're gonna apply a review around all of that. Once we've done the review, that leads us to number two, which is realign. So we take the review of all that data, all that people process, and then we start to realign the two. And by realigning the two, we can start to see some very big differences. You know. People come in the building at eight o'clock in, in the morning, however, the system's coming on at six o'clock. The system comes on at the weekend, but no one is in the building. So there's two very simple cases of how we can apply the review with the rear line. Then we go into reduce, number three. And reduce is where we start to really reduce the energy down. We start to look at three areas and those three areas are no cost, medium cost, and capital cost. So the no cost areas, simply we, we would normally put as the low hanging fruit. And we take the low hanging fruit, as you know, you go up to a tree, the low hanging fruit is the easy pickings, the easy things we can address. So we would address the easy things, the time clocks, the light switches that haven't been turned off or never been turned off the BMS system that is set up for 
six o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night and it should really be set up from nine to five. Very simple changes that can be made. And then that leads us to number four, which is report. There's no point us doing any management of a building or any management process again, unless we start to report in on what we've done. And the reason why we report, because we can then see how successful we are and then go again, because we go review, realign, reduce, report. And then we go back again. We start to review again. Let's review the data. Let's review our reports and start again. These processes come from the idea of um, British standards and ISO 50001, which is plan, do, check, act, 